Hello and welcome to Not So Awesome Review. And today we're looking at the band Presto Grandista Naruto. Uh, I was gonna say Shippuden, but it actually doesn't say Shippuden on the box, but it's Naruto Shippuden. Sasuke Uchiha um, Shinobi Relations statue. And I gotta say, like, I, I say this every single time I review a band Presto, you know, statue. They're good. For the money, they are amazing. I prefer them over Bandai. And for the price of this one, they definitely did i feel like they outdid themselves here uh, i've reviewed a few grandista statues in the past and i reviewed a plenty of and presto and this guy comes with interchangeable heads and an interchangeable arm he does come in a few pieces right off the bat but interchangeable heads and arm with effect piece for is it the chidori is that what it's called I, it's been a while since i've seen the show but yeah let's start off with the interchangeable heads let's start off with his actual normal face here you can see the eyes look good. The face, very clean, very anime-esque. Really like it. No complaints there. It looks a little bit weird without the hair, but really nice. And then we have one here with the... Uh... Again, it's been a while since I've watched the show, but with the eye thing going on. Man, why can't I remember this? Someone's going to remind me. I'm not even going to bother. If I remember, I'll just shut it out at some point in the video. But yeah, it looks really good. Looking off to the left a little bit little bit more of a menacing looking face looks awesome we do get an open palm as you guys can see right here and we do get a hand with the effect which is freaking awesome i don't think i've seen a Van presto statue with an actual energy effect so that kind of gets me a little bit hyped i didn't even realize that he had it until like i took everything out of the box and i'm like he has an effect piece this is really cool anyways he does come with a little stand thing for his foot which i'll put together in a second but to put him together it's pretty simple you just attach the body like so he does come with the sheath of his blade uh it doesn't pop out or anything but you can just attach that by sliding it down his back which was a lot easier when he didn't have his uh upper body on so I'd still say wait until you put the upper body, but yeah, there you go. Stays there with some friction. Let me see if I can move this camera angle back just a little bit. So, so far, so good. Then we can choose the hand. Let's go with the relaxed hand for just this first shot here. Put that on there with the relaxed face on like that. The hair piece like that. And that already looks so much better and so much nicer. And then the foot piece, I would assume, is for the left. I want to say, yeah. So that's basically so he can hold his balance. A lot of the uh, bigger band presto statues actually come with one of those. Let's move this as far back as I can so that I can hopefully get him complete in frame. And right off the bat, I will say he looks good. He does. He really does. I'm more excited for the other look, and I feel like that's the look that most people are going to go with. Uh, the shading and everything on the statue itself looks really good the rope kind of belt is all right actually it's more than all right it looks really nice the thing that sticks out the most to me right off the bat a little bit of a seam line going down here a little bit one here but this like separation in the uh in the statue molding kind of you can definitely see it it doesn't look like one piece which is kind of interesting um it doesn't look like it flows good. It looks out of place. That's where I'm going with. It doesn't look like it's sewn on like it probably should be. It looks out of place, but other than that, it looks good. Love the face. Love the hair. Love the painted detail all the way around. You can see the logo in the back right there. Again, more shading throughout the entire body. The sheath for the sword looks good. He just fell forward a little bit, but he's all right. Don't worry about it. Anyways, let's just take this off like so. Pop on the other head. Pop on the other hair. Pop off this. And I am so far back from the camera. And here he is with his alternate face and arm. And it's not the most dynamic pose. I think that would be my biggest complaint aside from the fact that the right arm looks definitely a little bit not glued in as good as I would want it to. Um, is that he does come with an effect piece which is freaking awesome. The face, this one in particular, I think looks a thousand times better and the effect piece is a nice bonus, but I do wish he was in a somewhat more dynamic pose, getting ready to fight some type of stance or something. I think it would have looked a lot better, but I'm hoping so much that they've done this, that we get a Dragon Ball Z 
character Goku or something with the Kamehameha beam in it or something like that would be freaking amazing. I'm just putting that out there. On top of the box, it does say that there is a Naruto child version Grandista coming out. So hopefully that'll have uh, his Rasengan or something. How awesome would it be if they did like a Naruto statue where he has his clone next to him doing the Rasengan? That, that would be amazing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the... Re Actually, I think there is a statue like that, but it's by Bandai. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe for more. This video was brought to you guys by the AV Pop Shop, so check out their Instagram linked in the description down below. And I will see you all later. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.